Hey world, it's been when to come back with another video. Family, I came across something on the wire this morning that made me very happy. You dig? And it was a uh, Congress, the House of Representatives, actually voting and passing into law uh, the legalization of uh, marijuana. Right? They decriminalizing marijuana. Taking it off the Schedule 1, right? Which means you cannot be arrested anymore for marijuana or cannabis of, you know, of the like. Now, I'm only saying that because I'm an investor. You dig? I knew in Canada back in, 20, in 2018, Canada legalized marijuana, right? And so I started investing in cannabis companies. And if you notice, uh, in 2018 also, they legalized hemp in America. And so that's why you've been seeing a lot of these CBD oil companies, these, uh, you know, CBD commercials on a television and the radio, because it's legal, right? It's an alternative to uh, prescription drugs. And you need to look into that, you dig? Now, of course, this is for entertainment purposes only. But I come with this video to say this. You think it's an accident? That out of all the issues going on in America, the House of Representatives legalized yesterday, uh, actually agreed to take marijuana off the uh, Schedule 1 label. Right? Now, what that also means in reference to incarceration is that most people that are incarcerated for marijuana. You know, I guess they're going to do it by state by state. But when it, if it's a federal law, then every state has to release those people that's arrested for marijuana. Because remember, over 50% of the drug charges uh, levied on inmates, right? 50% of people in prison are for marijuana. And if you're going to legalize it, then you, of course, have to, you know, I don't, like, I don't want to use the word reparations, which I know Danny Glover, you know, he was on the television not too long ago talking about it, but all of a sudden he disappeared. I don't want to say reparations, but there should be some type of, you know, um, you know, restitution. You dig? So, uh, like I say, family, they just legalized uh, marijuana on the on the uh, Congress, fathers, the House of Representatives level. The Senate, which are the top 50 senators in the nation because it's two per state they have to vote on it to make it actually legal it doesn't mean that if the senate doesn't agree with it it goes down no it just means that it has a process right and so family like i always say pay yourself first put yourself in a situation remember it's legal in canada right now it's about to be legal in the united states so uh make sure you put yourself in a situation where you can be uh you can benefit from it. You dig? I mean, just like alcohol in the Prohibition era back in the 1930s, there are a lot of millionaires right now because they invested in alcohol. Okay? I mean, this product that they're about to legalize is a lot healthier, uh, has more medical health benefits to it. I mean, think about it. They have something called medical marijuana. When have you ever heard them say anything about Medical alcohol. You did? So look into our family. Um, I just think it's a great opportunity. If you do the right thing, pay yourself first and do your research. Okay? But I just want to come back with a little food for thought and let you know that um, Congress just passed a law. Or actually not passed a law, but just made marijuana legal as far as make, taking it off the Schedule 1 label. Now, once that's federally legal, what that means is all these cannabis companies will be able to get loans from banks, lines of credit from banks, which will be able to build their companies. What do you think they're going to do for your stock price if, you've, if you're an investor in some of these companies? I'm just saying. All right, fellas, I just want to come back with a little food for thought. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And in the meantime, between time, in most high society, bring your joy and being willing to truth. It's out of 5,000.